to my channel, Halfway to Sane, where it's true crime all the time. If you like hanging out with me um, and you would like a free way to help the channel, please hit that thumbs up button and please consider subscribing to the channel as well as hitting that notification bell so that you're notified each time I upload a new video. And if you like, please leave a comment down below. Today, you're gonna to hear about a woman's harrowing escape from captivity in Missouri. If you wanna hear all about it, then keep your panties on because this is gonna make you insane. So let's get to it. In Excelsior Springs, Missouri, neighbors who opened their doors last week after they heard anguished cries for help found a woman with a metal collar and a padlock around her neck and a harrowing tale of escape. The woman, who said that she had been held captive and assaulted for weeks in the basement of a nearby home, was desperate to be rescued and afraid for her life. A neighbor who lived in Excelsior Springs her whole life said she was getting ready for work around 7.35 a.m. when she heard a faint help me from outside her front door, which she had open. She said she spoke with the young woman who told her she was being held against her will. The neighbor said this young woman looked straight at her and said, help me. She said when she told the young girl she was going to call the police, the girl begged for her not to. She said, please don't. If you call the cops, he's going to kill us both. She said she understood but called the police anyway. The neighbor said that as soon as she called police, the woman left. She went to her neighbor's house. Timothy Haslett Jr., 39 years old, was arrested and charged with first degree RAPE, aggravated SA, first degree kidnapping, and second degree assault. He was arraigned and entered a plea of not guilty. Officials have not detailed any possible connection between the woman, woman and Haslett. The neighbor, along with another neighbor, said the woman told them both about friends who did not survive. They did not have any additional details and officials have not confirmed that any other people had been held captive. According to the sheriff's office, this is being investigated and everything that the victim said happened to her appears to be true, so they're taking it seriously. Haslett's other neighbor said her grandmother encountered the woman after she escaped. She said her grandmother heard a woman screaming for help around 7.45 a.m. as she was babysitting her grandson. She came and knocked on the open door and said to her grandma, said her grandma opened it and there stood a young black girl. She didn't have much on and the grandma did say she had a metal dog collar around her neck. The girl told her, you have to help me I've been R-A-P-E-D. He's held me captive and you have to help me. He's gonna kill me. The grandmother brought the woman in who appeared pretty weak and hungry, sat her down on the couch, wrapped her in a blanket and fed her, gave her water and waited for the police. The woman told the grandmother that her friends didn't make it. The woman told the grandmother as well as police that she had been held since September that she escaped when Haslett left the home to take his son somewhere. She said she took the opportunity, flung the door open and just ran. The grandmother said she had very little interaction with Haslett whose house always looks so dead. It looks unlived in. Police found the woman wearing a metal collar with a padlock, latex lingerie and duct tape around her mouth. The woman told police that Haslett picked her up in early September, kept her in a small room in the basement, restraining her wrists and ankles with handcuffs. She said she was repeatedly R-A-P-E-D and whipped while, he, <clears throat> while she was held captive and she had injuries to her back. Police continued to investigate the woman's claims that there might be other victims who did not survive. Authorities spent three days executing a search warrant at Haslett's home to be very thorough and methodical to find if there is any evidence that the suspect is connected to any other crimes. 
law enforcement did not find any bodies or dead people anywhere, but they are looking at the possibility there might be other victims. Haslett is being held on a $500,000 bond and remains at the Clay County Detention Center where he belongs for the rest of his life. I'll do my best to keep up with any additional information that comes out, so make sure that you have that notification bell on so that you get notified each time I do an update. Peace out.